You might say that one of the greatest cosmic secrets lies right on our terrestrial doorstep, the far side of the moon. Since the constant companion of our blue home planet has a bound rotation, or in other words, it always presents one in the same side to the Earth, the most exciting legends have developed over the centuries about which secret structures, mysterious objects, or possibly even undiscovered civilizations lie dormant on the side of the satellite facing away from the Earth. While our ancestors could only speculate about these exciting questions, we are now able to take a direct look at this legendary area with the help of highly complex spacecraft. What really characterizes the notorious far side of the moon? And what unique discovery the Chinese Jade Haze 2 rover came across there a few weeks ago? We'll show you now. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest secrets of space? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you're captivated by the galactic content of our posts. The Secret Side of the Moon As we mentioned, the area of the Earth's satellite always hidden from our view due to its traditional rotation characteristics is called the far side of the moon. Strictly speaking, however, only about 40% of the lunar surface is hidden from our terrestrial view. This is due to the fact that the satellite's orbit describes an ellipse and is also inclined by 5 degrees. For thousands of years, mankind was completely unaware of what the far side of our constant galactic companion really looked like. This was finally to change in 1959. At that time, a Soviet probe succeeded for the first time in history in capturing the legendary lunar region on film. However, another 60 years were to pass before the next milestone was recorded in this hunt. On January 3, 2019, the Chinese probe Chang'e 4 was the first unmanned spacecraft to touch down on the far side of the moon. Shortly after the first images of the far side of the celestial body were published, the urgent question that had been troubling mankind for countless centuries had to be answered. How does the hidden area differ from the regions of the moon? that we can regularly admire in the sky. Those who hoped in the late 50s to reveal this great cosmic mystery had to be patient, however. In fact, the images taken by the Soviet lunar probe Lunik 3 at that time only showed a dark lowland which was christened Mer Moskva. In 1965, Zond 3 delivered the first high-quality images of the moon's far side, but it would take until 2010 before NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter comprehensively mapped the hidden side of the satellite in high resolution. Only the Apollo astronauts are still among the illustrious group of people who have seen the far side of the moon with their own eyes. Differences between front and far side if we compare the side of the moon facing the Earth with the side facing away from the Earth, it quickly becomes clear that the so-called mare, or in other words, the low plains covered by solidified lava, occur much less frequently on the far side of the celestial body. Since we don't find those dark formations there so often, the far side of the moon has consequently a clearly higher reflectivity than the opposite area. While we're on the subject of reflectivity, the rumor persists that the backside of the moon would be a completely dark hemisphere. But this is of course not the case. The respective moon phases run in reverse order there. If our Luna presents itself on the firmament as a delicate new moon crescent, its backside is brightly illuminated by the incident sunlight. How extreme the albedo differences of the opposite regions are in detail becomes clear if we keep in mind that the far side at new moon is brighter than and the front side at full moon. But the mare and the retro reflectivity are not the only points in which the different sides of the moon sometimes differ significantly from each other. Furthermore, there are also significantly more lunar grooves and mountains on the front side than on the downward side. The maximum altitude differences on the far side of the moon at about 10 miles are again a few miles higher than on the front side of the satellite. While the far side of the celestial body is adorned by only four small flaws, it consists for the most part of bright highlands covered by impact sites. 
Remarkably, some of these craters have unusually dark floors. The crater on the far side of the moon, called the South Pole Aiken Basin, with a diameter of 1,300 miles, is considered to be the largest impact site on the Earth's satellite. Basically then, it can be stated that the two hemispheres of the satellite could hardly be more unequal. In detail, these natural differences are due to the fact that the geometric center of the celestial body and its center of gravity are almost half a mile apart. This circumstance can be explained by the asymmetry between the crust of the moon and its interior structure. But what exactly led to these striking conditions? If one follows an exciting theory published in the year 2011, the reason for this lies in the influence of a cosmic male factor a second Earth moon. This is supposed to have orbited our blue home planet about 4.5 billion years ago, before it finally collided with today's satellite and was thrown from its ancestral course. While the mysterious far side of the moon already amazes us with its unexpected appearance, it promises a completely different possibility for future astronomical research, the collection of particularly sensitive data. While such undertakings on the front side of the satellite are always complicated by terrestrial interference lights, such as those of the Hubble Space Telescope, as well as by terrestrial radio signals, we do not find such interfering factors on the satellite's hemisphere facing away from the Earth. However, we must not ignore the fact that the transmission of the information obtained in this course could only be carried out with the help of special lunar satellites. Chang'e 4 and Jade Rabbit 2 Despite all the knowledge we have already gained about the mysterious far side of the Earth's satellite, the detailed, direct exploration of the corresponding lunar area is still in its infancy. As already briefly touched upon, the Chinese probe Chang'e 4 is the first unmanned spacecraft to ever set foot on the far side of the moon. In the course of the ambitious mission of the space agency, CNSA, some further mysteries of our constant galactic companion are to be deciphered. The most important scientific goals of the project, the end of which is still literally written in the stars, include the collection of important data regarding the lunar surface temperature, the analysis of the chemical composition of lunar rocks, the investigation of cosmic radiation, and the determination of the properties of the solar corona. The Jade Haze 2 rover, which is also the first of its kind to explore the far side of the moon, has already spent more than 1,000 days on the celestial body. In order to comprehensively study the corresponding region of the satellite, Jade Haze 2 has been equipped with a panoramic camera that can produce three-dimensional images a ground-penetrating radar for studying the lunar subsurface structure, an infrared spectrometer for studying the mineralogical composition of the surface, and a neutral atom detector are also part of the rover's modern payload arsenal. In fact, it has only been a few weeks since Jade Haze 2 took a picture of a very strange structure on the moon's far side, which immediately raised a lot of questions for terrestrial astronomers. An inexplicable discovery as part of its research mission, Jade Haze 2 had stumbled into the most impassable terrain imaginable in the South Pole Aiken Basin. In order to get an overview of the steps to be taken to maneuver the rover out of the difficult terrain, the earthly researchers had a panoramic image of the landscape taken. On the resulting images, which were then transmitted toward Earth, the experts again recorded a truly mysterious formation. What they discovered on the northern horizon in the direct proximity of a quite recent impact place was an object with an almost perfectly cube-shaped form. Since the scientists have no clue about what the mysterious structure is, this was called Mysterious Hut at first. However, until we get to the bottom of this exciting cosmic mystery, we will have to wait a few more weeks. Although current plans call for Jade Haze 2 to approach the cube structure, which is about 250 feet away, it will be another two to three months before the rover reaches the mysterious structure. A look beneath the lunar surface. While the aforementioned mystery has yet to be solved, Jade Haze 2 has already managed to provide some revealing information during its mission. With the help of its high-frequency ground-penetrating radar, the rover was able to take a look at those areas of the moon's soil that are normally hidden from our earthly eyes. The finding? The uppermost layer of soil, which extends an estimated 40 feet into the depths, appears to be composed mainly of fine dust particles. Those dust particles, called lunar regolith, are typically 
formed by the numerous meteorites that strike the surface of the celestial body. Since the satellite has only a very weakly developed atmosphere, the cosmic projectiles can crash practically unchecked onto the lunar surface, where they literally pulverize the crustal rock there again and again. Those deeper-lying soil layers, which lie dormant beneath the overlying regolith layer, consist in turn of alternating fine and coarser material. The more firm components are in all likelihood also debris created by meteorite impacts. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on the exciting far side of the moon? Just tell us in the comments. Are you in the mood for more exciting videos about outer space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which we have now linked for you in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.